off of Ares 1X. The 100-meter Ares rocket lifted off for a two-minute test flight before falling into the Atlantic Ocean. Engineers plan to pour over data from scores of onboard sensors to continue developing the rocket. The first manned flight, possibly to the moon, would be no earlier than 2015. Test flight director Bob S. praised the Ares team for the successful flight. Absolutely spectacular. The team is extremely excited. The vehicle flew, you know, you know, as we expected, even better than we expected. The Ares project is part of NASA's Constellation program and recalls the towering Saturn rockets the space agency used in the 1960s to launch the Apollo missions to the moon. NASA engineers say the new design reflects major advances in rocket technology. Some worry it may be too expensive. President Obama has ordered a review of NASA's goals and its budget constraints. Former aerospace engineer Norman Augustine leads the review panel. The human spaceflight program that the United States is currently pursuing is one that uh, is on an unsustainable trajectory. And we say that because of a mismatch between the uh, uh, scope of the program and the funds uh, to support the program. President George W. Bush unveiled the $60 billion Constellation program in 2004. That was before the global recession hit and the U.S. deficit broke new records. NASA had planned to finance Constellation in part by shutting down the space shuttle program and its support for the International Space Station, or ISS. Supporters say extra money could enable the shuttle to keep flying past its proposed end date next year. And Norm Augustine says the space station is only beginning to produce valuable research. We believe there are compelling reasons to extend the uh, ISS uh, at least another five years. But if we do that, uh, we also believe it's very important that we provide additional funds for the utilization of the space station. In coming weeks, President Obama is expected to decide whether to clear NASA to try for the moon or Mars or stay closer to home. Brian Wagner, VOA News.